Hi, I'm Ron Salomon, and I have just completed a presentation of trivia and information at the 4th of July luncheon here at the Senior Center. And we thought we'd share some of the unusual information with you. Initially, the Declaration of Independence was actually voted and declared on the 2nd of July, but not publicly announced and declared until the 4th of July. And John Adams, famous patriot who later became president, objected to the fact that we celebrate on the 4th of July. He believed that July 2nd should have been our celebration. And to carry that out further, he refused to attain, attend any 4th of July celebrations. As unusual things happen, that same John Adams, who became president, died on the 4th of July. Actually, we've had three former presidents die on the 4th of July. Most everybody knows that it was Adams and Thomas Jefferson who died on the 4th of July the same year and within hours of each other. But James Monroe also died on the 4th of July. And we had one president a New Englander, Calvin Coolidge, who was born on the 4th of July, the only one. And also, we celebrate in so many different ways. We have parades in Bristol, Rhode Island. Our neighbor is the place where the longest continuous 4th of July parade is held. And also on the 4th of July, as Americans, we consume about 150 million hot dogs. One unusual event that takes place every year on the 4th of July is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where the Liberty Bell is tapped 13 times in honor of the 13 original states. And the people who have the honor of tapping the Liberty Bell are descendants of the original signers of the Declaration of Independence. Now, I want to mention an American who many of you may not have ever heard of or remember. That's Francis Bellamy. Francis Bellamy was an American socialist minister. And guess what he did? He is the one who wrote the original Pledge of Allegiance. I know most of you have stood and pledged to the flag almost all your life, and yet we never hear of Francis Bellamy. We know Francis Scott Key, we know Longfellow, wrote the, uh, fourth, the Paul Revere's Ride. We know so many facts about so many Americans with all these different events, but nobody remembers Francis Bellamy, the man who wrote in 1892 the Pledge of Allegiance. And I think when we stand the next time to salute the flag, we ought to give him a thought. I thank you for listening, and I hope that you have a great 4th of July celebration and many more.